broadcast tomorrow, 2 o'clock, on Adelphia Communications Channel 8. Eric Hurd will run the point. Hurd, a six-foot senior, averages 11.6 per game, dishes out about uh, 2.8 assists. Mike Ronick will also be in the starting rotation for the Tigers, a 6'1 senior, averaging 13.5, their leading scorer. Andy Ethier, a 6'3 junior forward center, averaging 5.5 per game. Number 40, Ryan Starkovich, a 6'2 senior. Starkovich netting 11.6 per outing. And the final starter, I believe, Jesse Spann, number 41, a 6'3 inch senior, averaging 8.8, .8, their leading rebounder with 5.5 boards per game. Now the homestanding Evanston Red Devils. About to be introduced by longtime PA announcer Jim Williams, courtside. And we'll just follow their lead here. Crowd comes to its feet here in Red Devil Gym. Great crowd on hand, but still plenty of great seats. It's a, it's a big gym. Take my word for it. J.C. Carroll, the state's leading scorer, leads them in steals, leads the conference in rebounding, 38.2. A 6'2 inch senior. Down low for the Red Devils. Number 30, Jeremy Harris, a 6'4 senior, averaging six points and 7.2 boards per outing. He's Josh a junior. Walker, junior, that's right. Josh Walker, a 6'1 senior, 6.8 points per game. Ryan Reeves down low for the Red Devils. Reeves, a 6'3 senior, averaging 12 points and five rebounds per game. And Ryan Ball running the point. Ball, a 6'1 senior. Averaging five points, dishing out four and a half persists per outing. So it's Ball, Carroll, Walker, Harris, and Reeves doing battle with Hurd, Ronick, Starkovich, Mann, and Ethier. Red Devils coached by Bubba O'Neill in his first year. And the Tigers mentored by Neil Nelson. Neil's been there quite a while. And a great coach for the Tigers. Looks like it'll be Hurd in the center circle, jumping it up against J.C. Carroll. He'll come out now. It'll be Starkovich. We'll see here. Players shake hands. And uh, the Rock Springs Tigers mark in their black uni traveling uniforms with the white piping and the orange numerals. Evanston again in their white uniforms, red letters and red piping. And if this went underway, it's the voice of the Evanston Red Devils, Mark Medea. Well, thank you so much, Russ. And here it is. Jumping center circle. Evanston will control the tap. It's volleyballed around and back to Ryan Reeves. Tapped around there. About three, three guys got a hand on it. And Evanston will start out first. Ryan Ball works against Eric Hurd. On a hop right side, outside Josh Walker. Top of the key, Ryan Reeves. Fakes left, fakes right, and then goes right to Josh Walker. Back out, top to Ball. Top of the circle, one bounce dribble. On a hop right side, outside to Walker. Down low, they feed Reeves. Reeves laying up off the glass for two. Evanson draws first blood, and now the Tigers on the attack. Crossover dribble for Starkovich. Left side to Ronick, drives the lane. Kind of shovels up one shot, no good, but the rebound by Span up and in for two. We're tied up for the first time. First tie of the ball game at two. Ball on the opposite end in front of the Tiger bench. Evanston going left to right across the radio dial. Gets off to Walker in that left side, and we have an official's whistle. Stopping the clock with 7-12 left to play here, opening quarter. Two to two. Double foul. Double foul. Ryan Reeves and Jesse Spann both pick up a personal foul. The net effect will be Tiger basketball out of bounds. On the arrow. Jesse Spann inbounds. Gives off to Starkovich. Starkovich, Starkovich trial. Does it work? To Hurd. Hurd back around the perimeter. Now Starkovich with an 18-footer. That rims in and out. And knocked out of bounds, I believe, last touch by the Red Devils. Reeves and Harris there for Evanston. Triggering in for the Tigers will be Mike Ronick. Looking score at 13-5 a game, but they average, have three guys averaging double figures. Down low to Starkovich. Good pass and a good dribble drive to the hoop for Starkovich. Gets his first bucket. 4-2, Rock Springs. And the first lead change of the ball game. Evanston now. Ball on a hop to the free throw line. Turnaround jumper. 16-footer for Jeremy Harris. Won't go up. High for the rebound. Rebound Mike Ronick. Pass will go to Span. Left side, Starkovich. Now out top to Ronick. Right side to Hurd. On the elbow, right side. And a jump ball to call. As it looked like Danny Ball tied up Jesse Span. And on the possession arrow, Evanston basketball. 4-2 our score. 622 to play. Opening quarter here from Red Devil Gym. I know it's tough, but it's Ryan. <laughs> what? Ball. <laughs> Did I see Danny again? Boy. 
<laughs> Call Jeremy Smith back at the KVA studios. Jeremy Harris and call uh, Ryan Ball, Danny Ball. Hmm. We've been doing that all Mine is a terrible thing to lose, Russ. <laughs> Ryan Ball across the midcourt stripe, left side, outside J.C. Carroll. Carroll working against Starkovich. He'll rise for the three. That's good. <laughs> Carroll at 43 against Laramie last night in the conference opener. Span with... Three on two. Tigers hustle back. Ball pulls up for the 15-footer. Elbow left. Won't go. Rebound Reeves. He tries to go up. Has his shot blocked. Gets it again. Pump fake. Has it blocked once again. Harris block, has his shot blocked. Veronica got the last one. But tough defense down low by the Tigers. And it'll send Jeremy Harris to the line. Picking up the personal will be Mike Ronick for Rock Springs. Harris eyes it. Tries it. Cannot buy it. Jeremy, ordinarily, a 71% free throw rust. Exactly. He'll have another. Takes a look at this one. Rolls around the rim just like the other one. Did not go. Rebound Starkovich, Rock Springs. So Harris can't get either. Out top, Starkovich. Starkovich to Ronick, right side wing. Now the top of the circle, three-pointer fired. Will not be connected on on behalf of Ethier. Almost taken away by Rock Springs, but Carroll able to pull it in for Evanston. Gets around Ronick. Jumper on the way from about 16 will not go. Harris had a hand on the rebound, but it slipped out of his hands. Heard now quickly up ahead to Starkovich. Left side in front of the Red Devil bench. Cross courts it. Ethier with about a 16-footer that'll bounce once and then right in for two. So Andy Ethier gets his first bucket of the night, and it's 9-6 Evanston. In the lane to Reeves. Reeves can't get it down low, and Starkovich with the board for the Tigers. Starkovich to Ronick, who will casually get it across the midcourt stripe. Reeves on him defensively at the moment. Left side, outside to Ethier, and cutting through the lane was Ronick, but the Tigers turn it over. And then Ryan Ball falls on his wallet and is tied up by Ronick. So three turnovers on the Tigers here in the early going. Evanston yet to commit a turnover. 4-11 left opening quarter. Evanston 9-6. Tiger basketball will be Ronick triggering in. Reeves there to defend him. Look for somebody down low. Can't find it. Going to have to hurry. And now we'll go out deep. Taken away by Carroll. JC got up. Carroll in the lane, looked like some contact, turnaround jumper, got the ball away, got it, and was hacked in the act. So J.C. Carroll will be going to the line. Great double pump by Carroll in the lane as he goes up, gets hacked, comes with a double pump, puts it back up after the hack, and scores. Going to go to the line. Looking for his 10th point here with 4.05 remaining first quarter. Against Lyman last a week ago this past Thursday, 22 in the first quarter. Those are the kind of numbers he is capable of putting up. And it's 11-6 Evanston game here with 4.05 remaining first quarter. Carroll won't convert on the three-point play. And then a rebound by Ethier, but he's on the end line. So the Tigers, in essence, turn the ball over for the fifth time. It'll go back the way of the Red Devils. Yeah, he just had it. Just dropped it right out of bounds on the baseline. Ryan Ball on the right side of his hoop, looking for help. It knocked out of bounds, intended for Reeves. Good hustle play on behalf of Ben Taylor for the Tigers. Again, 11-6 Evanston, 4-0-2 remains here in the first. Red Devils 1-0 in South Forey Conference play. Tigers looking for their first victory on the road. Into Perkins was checked in for the Red Devils, a 6-1 senior. Had it right side outside, gets back to Walker between the circles. Now Ryan Ball near the midcourt circle, working against Hurd, left side to Perkins. One bounce dribble to Walker, finds the seam, but then has it stripped away. There's the first Red Devil turnover, and they almost throw the ball away. Run down by Taylor, and then taken away by Carroll. J.C. Carroll with a steal, it's two on two, gets it to Walker, lay it up and in. Josh Walker with a bucket, nice assist, J.C. Carroll, great court sense. 13-6 Red Devils. Hurd works against Walker, left side, has it on a string, now terminates the dribble. 
in the lane. Pump fake and going up with the shot. Should have been a foul. They banked it, but uh, Ronick with a good follow through gets the bucket. Probably should have been going to the free throw line there. 13 8 Evanston. Ryan Ball penetrates, goes back out to Perkins for three. That does not draw iron. Rebound Walker. No looks at the Carroll. Lays it up and in. J.C. Carroll with 11, 15-8 Evanston. Hurd works on the perimeter. Down to Ethier. Spins his way inside for about an eight-footer. Won't go. Rebound and attempted put back by Taylor. And Taylor fouled from behind, I believe, by Walker. So Josh Walker will pick up his first. Second. Ben Taylor will go to the line for the Tigers. He's a 56% free throw shooter on the year. He's going to shoot two. Taylor shot on the way. High off the iron. Won't go. So both teams cold from the line. No one's made a free throw. That's the fourth. Everson shot three, and they're 0 for 3. And Rock Springs has shot their first one and missed it. Taylor at the line to shoot the second of the two-shot foul. go either. That one falls short. Long rebound. Whipped back into bounds by Walker. But it looks like he stepped on the inline, so it'll go back the way of the Tigers. Russ and I'd like to send a shout out to Dave Aaron Bell and Tony Yurkovich. Miss you guys. On a hop right side to her, down low. Bank shot up and in for Taylor. He gets his first bucket. And it's 15-10. Tigers have trimmed the lead to five. Out top, Walker for three, top of the key. That one a little long, and the rebound, Ryan Reeves. He's tied up with Taylor. They fall to the floor, and we'll see what the call is here. Jump ball, and possession arrow pointing the way of the Red Devils with 2.34 left to play here first quarter. 15-10, Evanston. David Perkins will step out to inbound for the Red Devils. Gets it to Carroll, three-pointer on the way, right side wing, that high off the iron. Reeves goes after the rebound, but it's muscled away by Andy Ethier. Quickly up ahead to Starkovich, fakes the three, gets around Carroll, rises for the banker, up and in for two. Great nice move shot. for Ryan Starkovich getting his second bucket. And it's 15-12. One possession game. Harris, right side to Carroll. Carroll to Reeves. Spin move in the lane, gets it up too far underneath, but a great move by Ryan Reeves. Just found himself too far underneath the hoop. Checking in is Preston Collins, the 5'6", junior or senior guard for the Tigers. Now to Hurd for three, that won't go. Rebound. Pulled down by Carroll. GC across the midcourt stripe, still with the dribble. Starkovich tries to pick him up, gets around him, lays it up and in off the glass. Carroll with 13 here in the first quarter. Right side to Hurd, working against Walker. Eric, and they move back out top. Preston calls now to Starkovich for three. That one's short, but he gets his own rebound following the shot, goes up, lays it in. And let's see if they're going to wave it off. They will. Well, according to what the official said, it was on the floor. So Stalkovic uh, misses that uh, three-pointer, but then chases down his uh, rebound, goes back up, and gets fouled. Foul will be whistled on Ryan Reeves. That's the second on Ryan. Ryan Ball comes in for Ryan Reeves, who just got saddled with that second personal. Minute 32 left to play here, first quarter. Ethier sits down, and uh, Span comes in for Rock Springs. Span back into the lineup to Collins, and to Starkovich, right side, outside. J.C. Carroll with that defensive assignment. Now to Collins. One hop. Oh, and walk by Span, but they didn't call it. Span with a 17-footer on the way that won't go. Ball loose on the floor, scooped up by Josh Walker, the outlet, Jeremy Harris. Long lead pass intended for Carroll. He's got it. J.C. takes it inside, goes for the jam, and he's fouled on the play. By Jesse Spann, and I believe now that's his third. third. Carroll will go to the line to shoot two. He was up high to go to the, for the slam, and Spann went up there to block it, got him across the forearms. Carroll with 13 points and 86% free throw on the year. 0 for 1 tonight. Makes it 1 out of 2 as he gets his 14. And he'll have another. Into the basketball game for the uh, Tigers is Chris Dorsey. He's a 5'7 senior guard. Carroll second one on the way. That's good. JC, 15 first quarter points. 15 of his team's 19. Actually, yeah, that's, that's it. Walker has two. Reeves has two. Starkovich showing away for the Tigers with four. As it's Collins dribbling in the perimeter, tries to find Hurd, and the Tigers going to throw that one out of bounds. Great hustle by Josh Walker. He, his uh, 
on the ball defense created that turnover. Seven turnovers on Rock Springs, just one on the Red Devils here to four. Ball across the midcourt stripe, still with the dribble, and a reach-in foul will be whistled on Dorsey, I do believe. That will be the uh, sixth team foul. First on Dorsey, as Evanston will inbound on the far side. He come into ball. Carter by Dorsey goes to the right side, looking for somebody down low. Nobody there. To get it to Carroll, elbow right. Carroll working against Collins will pull up for the jumper. And JC. Foot or nothing but net. Yep. That's a mismatch. Can't put a 5 7 guy on JC. Down low, Taylor turns. Couldn't get the shot to go from about six feet out. Carroll with the rebound. Up ahead to Walker and to Perkins. Oh, and blocked out of there. Great block by Taylor. Walker on the finger roll with the rebound. That won't go, but an official's whistle. Great ball movement by the Red Devils, but then... Was it Taylor? Came in, got the block. Taylor got the, man, got the block. It was a great block. Great ball movement by Evanston, but a great defensive play by Taylor to stop the basket. Josh Walker comes up with the offensive rebound. He's at the line to shoot two. Walker gets the first and extends Red Devil lead to double digits, 22 to 12. 25 ticks left opening quarter. Second one by Walker at the front rim. And we have an official's whistle, lane violation of some sort. Looks like there's a foul. Ryan Starkovich picking up the uh, foul. Pushing off on the rebound. That's going to be the uh, eighth team foul. So Jeremy Harris will go to line and shoot one on one. Uh, Troy Hill in the basketball game for the Red Devils. Troy is a six-foot senior guard, and sitting down will be uh, Josh Walker. Harris 0 for 2 from the stride board, nearly a 71% free thrower, but 0 for 2 for the evening. This one on the way. He gets that all straightened around. Nothing but net. 23-12. A little past 8, you're listening to Red Devil basketball, Tiger basketball on 1360. As Harris gets them both, 1360 KRKK, Rock Springs, Wyoming, and 106.1 FM, KOTB, Evanston, Wyoming, as well as 1240 AM, KEVA, Evanston, Wyoming. Collins dribbling in the forecourt on a hop, tries to find Hurd, goes out of bounds. The Tigers with their eighth turnover. Great, again, ball, on ball, on the ball pressure created that turnover, and then a passing lane pressure by Troy Hill helped create that, create that turnover. Red Devils with... 24, they've doubled up Brock Springs, 24-12. Carroll will rise for 16-footer, oh, that's God. good. On the other end, uh, half-quarter launched by Collins. Will come close, but not fall, and the Red Devils with one in the books lead by 14. It's Evanston 26, Rock Springs 12. Back with second quarter action after this one-minute timeout. <laughs> 